that's the real issue. When we talk to candidates who have been open to the idea of changing that issue of birthright citizenship, and that would include Scott Walker, now Marco Rubio, how that would look, what it would actually be, is a real question mark. Carly Fiorina, when I spoke to her here at the fair, she said, we'd have to change the Constitution. There are other things we need to focus on first. So immigration has really swept the conversation in the last few days, in part because of Donald Trump. And when I talked to uh, Marco Rubio about the fact that his candidacy has not taken off as many might have expected because he is representing a fresh generation for Republicans, he is of Cuban heritage, might be able to branch out with Hispanic voters, and he had a good start and a good debate performance, uh, he says, you know, it's that long game. And I think one of the things we're finding here on the ground is, can we discern the difference between Trump fans and Trump supporters? What it takes to be intrigued by Trump and know something about him and maybe even be entertained by him? And how would that convert to what really has to happen in a place like Iowa, which is the hard work of caucus going and building a coalition? That'll be one of the tests over time. Luke? Indeed, it's a very good point. The specificity of Trump's plan to really pushing his competitors to have to come out and define themselves. Kelly, great reporting there in Iowa. Kristen Welker, I want to go to you in Nevada. Uh, you had some interesting news to report this morning. Quite the turn from the Clinton campaign telling their supporters don't wet the bed over some of the negative publicity that has come out regarding this email controversy. What do we know? Luke, that's absolutely right. As questions continue to mount about Clinton's emails, the campaign has that message to supporters today. No bedwetting. Probably sounds familiar to you, Luke, and a lot of our viewers. Of course, that is because it's borrowed from the 2008 Obama campaign. Top advisor David Pluff used to say that to Democrats when they got jittery, when times got tough back then. It applies today. The very latest today is that uh, intelligence community reviewers have asked for more than 300 documents from Secretary Clinton's emails to be reviewed because there are concerns that they might need to be classified. Now, of course, this comes as the State Department is in the process of reviewing and releasing more than 55,000 documents to the public from Clinton's emails. The Clinton campaign says, look, this is all a part of the process. You have a lot of eyes on these documents right now, and that this is typical for different agencies to go back and to say, this document should have been classified. Let's take a look at that. Let's debate that. They continue to insist that Secretary Clinton never sent any emails that were marked as classified, and the State Department has said it doesn't appear that there was any wrongdoing. But, Luke, the broader political point is that there is a drip, drip, drip here. It has eroded the public's confidence in Clinton. It has made some Democrats jittery. It has fueled speculation that you have other Democrats eyeing a possible run, like Vice President Biden. We know he's been talking to some